So common sense would say, don't try and attack more on this project than you should. I'm really bad about common sense. So my actual day job is a photographer and uh, you wouldn't know it from this production quality. What I want to do here with this channel is to uh, give you a little insight into the thing that I'm really passionate about, which is building and fabricating and working and understanding motorcycles. I want to just teach a little bit as I go, show some processes and sort of make it fun. Uh, hopefully you'll get something out of it. The next thing I'm going to be doing is building a motorcycle for the one show, and it's going to be an XR100 flat tracker. I've always loved XR100s. They're a small bike, they're simple, they're great for teaching and learning. And the mini class is a low consequence way of racing. So this bike, I want to make sort of an ultimate mad dog XR100. That's going to be the next month that I'm going to be working on. It's a lot of work. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish it. I have this beautiful little custom frame from Scott Cole, and it's going to be an XR100, but we want to use as many CR85 parts as we can. I wanted to use this uh, CR85 swing arm because on an XR100, the stock swing arm is steel. It's perfectly functional, but it's no, nothing special. It would be nicer if it was a little longer, a little stronger. I am planning on uh, taking this off and looking to see if I can modify the CR to make it work on here. The question I have, and I've been kind of avoiding this, is the place in between the frame where these are gonna fit, you can see that the CR is wider and that's gonna prevent it from fitting. So I'm gonna try and press out the bearings and then take a look at the casting and see what kind of material is there, how much meat. Can I take off enough to make it fit? So quick tip here on uh, pressing out bearings. You need to have something that is going to rest on the bearing. And one of the great parts that you can always find is sockets. Sockets come in all different sizes, hence they are perfect for, in this case, pressing out the needle bearing. And I'm just going to add a socket extension. I'm going to need to have something to press against. So hang on a second. Another socket. And this one is going to be the outside diameter so that the bearing will come out. Let's give that a whirl. doesn't quite line up and obviously it's a way bigger shock. I don't know why I thought, yeah, I'd be an idiot if I pursued this. There goes nothing. I'm using CR85 wheels laced up to 17 inch rims. So the, the idea with that is I'll be using discs 
and uh, I will uh, better brakes.